Welcome to Inside Casting. I'm Joey Paul Jensen on the Virtual Channel Network. I have been in the entertainment industry almost as long as I can remember. I had a full career as a young actor before I ever came into casting. And I think it's a little bit of a typical story where my parents got me started because I was very, very shy and very, very small and introverted. And um, I, I started singing in nursing homes when I was a little girl. That's really how I started. And then uh, little by little, I was doing community theater. And by the time I was 10, I was singing with the Chicago Lyric Opera. And I actually have one accolade that I'm really proud of, that by the time I was 14, I did my first operatic lead in Benjamin Britten's Turn of the Screw, which I think to date is the youngest person who's ever starred in an opera um, on uh, the national stage. So that's really how I got started. And um, right out of high school, I came to California to get my degree, which is in acting from California Institute of the Arts. Uh, they had a program where in your last year, they would fly you to New York to meet with casting directors in New York as a part of your graduation. So coming from Chicago, not knowing if I should go east or west, I felt that this was the best way to capture both coasts. After I got my degree, I uh, went to New York and I landed um, a manager in New York who then introduced me to a partner in LA. So I had bi-coastal uh, representation and I had a lot of good fortune. I became a Taco Bell spokesperson. So I did a lot of um, commercials and I did some TV and I did some film. And I really wanted to learn what happens behind the scenes. And so um, I started doing cold reading workshops. And believe it or not, um, one of the casting directors that I had done a workshop for uh, needed a casting assistant. And um, I thought to myself, when she called, I thought, oh, this will be a really cool opportunity to learn if I could be a fly on the wall. What do they say when you leave the room? Because I always wondered, like every actor does, what do they say about you when you leave the room? The kinds of things that you say. And so I thought, I'll do this for just a little while. And then that'll help give me a better perspective about the casting process as an actor. Because we all know that auditioning is about making choices. So this way, I'll be able to make greater choices if I understand my point of view and theirs as well. Little did I know that walking through that door was going to lead me to a career that now is 22 years in the making, and I really haven't acted since, and I do love what I do. It's really an interesting experience to be in the room and not be vying for a role. I think at that time, I just completely surrendered to knowing I was there for a bigger purpose. I was there to really assist the actors in getting a job, making it easier for them, certainly reading with actors, definitely exercises the acting muscles. But at the time I was at Universal Studios, we were doing four shows a week, therefore we were hiring an average of 40 actors a week, almost 50 weeks a year. So at the end of the day, I could say to myself in a week, on a Friday, I could say, what's better, helping to hire 40 actors a week or trying to get one job for myself? Let's see, 40 actors or me, 40 actors or me. Believe me, it was an easy decision to realize that 40 actors a week were getting a job, and I was in that job for five years. There were so many people that got a little piece of their life's dream. And by then, I'd been acting for such a long time, I really didn't need it to do it for me anymore. It felt so much better to help actors carve out what they knew they were meant to do, and I could be a piece of that. Even though it's really been a long time since I've been acting professionally, I still feel very much in the zone with actors. And I think the greatest compliment an actor can give me is when they think of me for a job. So for example, I am now uh, going to direct a new animated series. I'm voice directing and I'm casting. It is uh, with a group of producers who just left Industrial Light Magic. And um, what happened is one of my students who worked with me literally 10 years ago went to the producers and said, you should have Joey Paul do this project. And lo and behold, I got the job because an actor remembered me. And to me, there's no greater compliment in my entire career.